Hello and welcome to CQU Documentary Special. This week's special is on archery. Archery has been around for a long time. The discovery of the first stone arrowheads in Africa indicate that the bow and arrow were invented there, perhaps as early as 50,000 years BC. Archaeological sites show the bow and arrow were commonly used for hunting and warfare. Popular film has encouraged the resurgence of this ancient weapon. For example, Robin Hood in 1991 and also Lord of the Rings 2001. Australia has produced Olympic champions of this sport. Simon Fairweather won gold at the Sydney Olympics in 2000 and Tim Cuddy, only 17 at the time and originally from Toowoomba, won bronze in the Athens Olympics 2004. Archery has come a long way since its ancient beginnings and equipment can cost up to thousands of dollars and, averages, and arrows averaging 95 each. To compete in this highly competitive and exacting arena it is a, is a constant battle to fund competition costs and equipment. Peter Burke, a silver medalist in the World IFAA Championships, recently held in Germany, is also a qualified international archery coach. Peter discusses archery at the professional level. Peter and Heather Burke. Heather, my wife here, is current world champion in Bowhunter Limited for outdoor field archery. I'm current silver medalist for professional freestyle unlimited indoor archery. Uh, we've both just returned from Mannheim, Germany after a, a gruelling week of competition at the World Indoor Archery Championships. Peter discusses major costs involved in competing. You've got $4,000 to get the two of us over there. Uh, we've just ordered new bows. There's another $2,500. We're sponsored by equipment companies, so for sites and rest and such we're okay but uh, there's another two thousand dollars worth of arrows. If the competition's a year away we're shooting a hundred arrows a day. I assume that bows need to be maintained regularly. What happens with arrows? What generally goes wrong with an arrow? Uh, nothing lasts forever unfortunately mm. when you hit mm. them, smash the sides out of them. Uh, just through sheer use because they're an alloy shaft with carbon fibre over it, the aluminium work hardens and eventually becomes brittle and they just lose their spine, uh, become inaccurate, they bend, uh, the bow needs a new set of strings every couple of months because we shoot so many arrows. Most people go through a new set of strings every two years. You have to have new bows continually, because they wear out when you think of a thousand shots a week. Can you tell us a little bit more about the recent championships you competed in overseas? Uh, the return trip was via Asia, where I was coaching in Singapore, Malaysia, prior to travelling through Australia to sail for the Australasian Championships. Heather here can tell you now about the Australasian Championships. Well, the Championships were held in Sail, uh, very cold weather, very windy, uh, about 600 competitors from the Pacific countries and Australia, New Zealand. Uh, we had a lot of fun, shot very well, there were a lot of uh, records broken. To find out more about archery, we spoke to John McKinney, the owner-manager of Freedom Sports Bundaberg. Now that's suitable from 12 up to about 16. You do have a compound bar. First, a carbon fibre arrow. John does not stock equipment for the professional but has a wide range for the amateur enthusiast. Peter speaks about the importance of sponsorship. Uh, now that I've turned professional, it's not like a professional golf player where you get appearance money. You only 
win a couple of thousand euros if we're sponsored by Paystar Learning Systems, On Target Software for Archers, Shibuya Sites, Trophy Taker Arrow Rests, Tailor Made Strings, and uh, Vortex Optics, that's our spotting scopes and binoculars, tripods, that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. So it saves us a lot of money there. Uh, we don't have any Australian sponsors as yet. We've tried many companies. If anyone would like to find out more about archery, or perhaps become a sponsor, please contact Heather and Peter on their website for more details. Thank you, this has been Naomi, Commander, CQU News.